Donald Trump, Brexit, snow in the Sahara. Where does this year with alternative facts and improbable but real happenings and events lead us, um, ladies and gentlemen? My impression, truthfully, nobody really knows. We see that from the um, ex-Foreign Minister uh, Joschka Fischer, that he has uh, written an op-ed um, and he said that Trump actually prefers nationalistic tendencies within the EU, same, does, um, same counts for Putin in Fischer's eyes. And so the EU is endangered because at the same time Trump has said that he will not support NATO anymore. And NATO has been the more or less implicit guarantee as uh, to um, provide security for Germany and security for Europe. So it was a promise from the United States that is being cancelled. So will, the milita will there be military coming to the EU? Will there be more military? Will, be, will there be a combined military strategy? I ask myself, how should that work? We have for years not spoken with one voice. How can we com command joint forces? So that is a big question mark for this year and the coming years um, from, from that regard. Um, then yesterday we had some voices after the court ruled that they want to have the Brexit um, go through Parliament first before um, initiated, that some have interpreted that um, court ruling as to make the Brexit less probable again. We still know that 40, um, a bit more than 50% voted for Brexit, a bit less than 50% voted against, and those that voted against are still there. And so there are inner fights. There is um, a stalemate, more or less. Nothing is really going forward in a, um, in a speed which, should, which would be wishful for both um, parties, the EU, and would also be wishful for uh, the UK, in my opinion. Because, you know, until there is a real decision made, we have uncertainty. And any uncertainty, as long, the longer this uncertainty goes, the more costs are being produced by that uncertainty. And that is uh, something that we have to deal with. Um, uh, uh, Donald Trump, now I almost wanted to say Obama, but it's Donald Trump. He has, per executive order, um, agreed to build the Keystone XXL oil sands pipeline. So that is a pipeline going from the oil sands um, in Canada bringing oil all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. But that goes through a Sioux Indian um, area and it goes, the, the pipeline should go below a um, sea, which is there in an environment that is being protected. And should that uh, pipeline actually leak, that would be the end of that um, um, yeah, nature habitat there. So that is the danger, and that is also the reason why Barack Obama in the year 2015 said that the Keystone XXL pipeline will not be built. So now Trump has, says it will be built, it will come, um, and there's a second pipeline, Dakota Access, that will also come to the United States. At the same time, we see where the dangers are. In Canada, there has been an oil pipeline spill, 200,000 liters of um, oil have um, gone out of a pipeline and it was actually a resident who by luck found out that after a week where he smelled this um, crude oil smell um, after a week he went over there to to find out where that comes from and there he saw that big sea of 200,000 liters of oil flowing around. So now they are trying to clean that up but at the same time, we see that in the United States, that has nothing to do with the oil spill in Canada, but in the United States, after Trump had those executive orders for the pipeline XXL, and has also met with auto um, mobile um, producers, automotive producers, um, to bring back jobs to the United States, they should build manufacturing in the United States, and they will get environment uh, permits from Trump very fast. So that was what he actually said to um, Ford and to the auto builders in the United States. And at the same time, there is a blackout for the Environment Protection Agency, who is no longer able to communicate with the press, who is no longer able to uh, use social media, and they have also 
um, yeah, a, a complete blackout for that agency. So that is interesting to see uh, where this will actually lead us. So that is um, actually it for now. We've got an uptrend still in, in European uh, stocks. We've got a shallow consolidation over the past days. Yesterday, the DAX profited from the Brexit news and from lesson probabilities that Brexit will actually come. So that has been positive for the DAX index. So that might be that he comes out after he, we had a rally, shallow and uh, tight consolidation, and we might break out of that consolidation and go in northwards in the direction of 12,000. If that breakout is successful, that might be a signal that something like this is happening.